I'm getting nothing here as I turn it over. Absolutely nothing, no clicking at all. Uh, these seem to be tight and they look pretty clean. So might be able to just forget about doing that. Let's grab something and let's try to tap that solenoid and see if we can uh, get that starter to fire up. Okay, so here is the uh, solenoid here and starter right underneath there. I've got some uh, socket extensions here I'm gonna use to tap on that solenoid. Um, tried to uh, spray the connectors there and clean those up. Um, actually, I did that a while back. Um, used some uh, just brake cleaner parts cleaner so let me set the camera up here and we'll start our tapping let's uh, try to start it up here I don't feel real good about it I don't think it was hit hard enough. Let's see if it's stuck. So before removing the starter, I've got the negative cable off of the battery here. Let's take a look at where the starter is. The top side. So now we're underneath the vehicle and you can see the oil filter here. And that oil filter is uh, spraying oil on the starter and solenoid connections here. So I'm going to take a rag here and just clean all this stuff up. Kind of get an idea of what, I'm, you know, what the next step is. Uh, we'll be taking the wires off first before we start removing any uh, mounting bolts. Okay, so uh, I want to remove this uh, connector here, and uh, the connector, there is a little clip, I was looking for a place to push it, but I couldn't, so I believe you take a screwdriver and just push in here, you'll feel a clip, uh, just push the clip this way and then pull it apart. I think I can do it with one hand because I can feel that clip with my finger here and all I got to do is just push the back side so I don't know if I'll be able to film that but here we go so that was pretty easy to do so that's what that looks like right there I believe that's a single like a single wire goes in here all right so uh, the main lead wire here is held on by this uh, this nut here that is a 13 millimeter try to break that have the best wrench set up here I did loosen it I may be able to get it with my hand here okay there's that main lead wire there and there's the nut so now we can start getting the mounting bolts off of this starter there's an upper and a lower. All right, so for the mounting bolts, there's an upper one. And uh, you can see I've already got a socket on that. That is a uh, 15 millimeter. So I broke the top one Uh, I had to use a cheater bar slide it over to slide it over this wrench here to do that. Um, and I don't have a uh, 
3 8 socket so I can't use my ratchet so I'm using this wrench here so yeah it's broken loose so I'm just going to take my time and get that uh, get that off with the wrench that I have here okay this bottom mounting bolt is a uh, Fourteen, fourteen millimeter, and I may need a cheater bar for this as well. Okay, I think we've got it here. Again, I don't have my ratchet. So I left the upper one still in. Just kind of, I think it's a, well, it was hand tight or hand loosened. As you can see, this one is too. So I need to be careful that this thing doesn't fall out uh, on top of me. So I think I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead and do the try to get the upper one ah jam my arm there ah. I'm gonna try to get the upper one out first all the way out and it looks like uh, I've already <clears throat> tightened it by moving since I moved this starter here so I'm gonna have to go back and and loosen it again so I can get it uh, off with my fingers here I'll take it all the way out and then um, I will work on the, the bottom uh, mounting bolt. Alright, so that one's out. Concentrate on the lower one. I already have it loosened and I've got it uh, Adjust the camera here Damn. All right, just making the path of how I'm gonna Pull the uh, starter. Okay, there's the bottom bolt out. Here's a look at the old starter. So I'm going to go pick up a new starter um, and match it up. Bottom bolt here is longer than the top bolt. Uh, bottom one had a and a washer. Top one washer is built on there. That's how that's how it was here. So anyway, uh, that's taking it off, so let's go get a new one and put it on uh, in reverse of how we took this off.
All right, so here is the new starter. This is like $195. Um, that's uh, before core return. I believe this is a Mitsubishi. It is uh, identical to the old starter. The old starter was a uh, remanufactured. I believe it is a uh, Mitsubishi as well. This is a new one. Hoping to get a lot longer life with this. So uh, let's go ahead and put the new one on. Before putting the new starter on, I'm just going around the mating surface here and cleaning it up a little bit. Okay, let's try to put the new starter in place. Okay, I'm using the uh, bottom bolt here, try to get it started. I'm going to hand tighten this as far as I can. Let's grab the top bolt. This one goes through into the uh, solenoid. Top one was uh, 15. I'm using millimeters, so that's what I have as far as sockets. Um, This one was a 15 millimeter. It's not exactly going in like I want it. Okay, up here on the upper bolt, right up here, it's pretty hard to get to. Um, I didn't have a, uh, a 3 8 socket wrench. So my, uh, so I, I couldn't use a ratchet, which is really what you need. Um, so I found a quarter inch, and I've got an adapter here, and it's just made life a whole lot easier here. So, uh, so you don't have a whole lot of room to, to maneuver. I'll come back and tighten this with my. Uh, with my larger wrench. You can see it uh, takes quite a bit of turning here to get this thing on. I couldn't hand tighten it very far. Getting like quarter of a turn each or less ah. all right so uh, I'm almost there
All right. Okay, the bottom uh, bolt here. Um, I got this off with a 14 millimeter, but uh, when I'm putting it back on here, I've seen now that it's really a uh, it's really a true 9 16 So let's put the wire on, make sure that it's clean here. I'm going to rough that up a little bit before I put it on. Make sure it's uh, getting good continuity. All right, so use some one, so I use some 180 sandpaper on both sides. Let's slip it on. Putting the washer on first. It's a lock washer. All right, so I've got this nut hand tightened on. Okay, now we've got this uh, other connector here. I'm gonna clean other connector right here. I'm going to clean the oil off of that. Okay, that just goes on one way. Tighten the screw right here. Make sure that it's not loose. Seems to be pretty tight, but I'll check that. Connector is kind of loose. But I think uh, I think we'll be good. Okay, so we're finished down here. Um, with that screw, I said I may tighten right there um, I couldn't get a you know screwdriver in there so I just took some pliers uh, some channel locks actually and just tightened down on the head of that and just tightened it so that's secure got the uh, mounting bolts again they should be uh, uh, they should be tightened down uh, I'm not sure the torque's back on it I just tightened it pretty tight about like I took it off so I'm gonna go up top and that uh, lead connector um, I just hand tighten that so I'm going to put a wrench on it from uh, up above and tighten that the rest of the way. Okay, lead wire is tightened. There we go. All right, now we can put the battery cable back on. And let's give it a uh, first time start. Hope that it, uh, Hope that it's going to work. Oh, sounds good. Let's try 
play again here. All right. Starter for a uh, 99 Jeep. Thanks for watching. Until uh, next time, have a great day. Take care.